On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on, a blessed and wonderful Friday evening to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going on in Jamaica. Now, today is Friday which marks the start of another weekend and if we should follow jamaica's trajectory when it comes on to friday going into the wee hours of monday morning so that is all at the weekend it's normally a really bloody one so i'm just imploring and you the regular members of chan public whilst traversing these streets take note take heed so it's not no plating out there in the streets continuously look out on the corner eye. no jokes out of john shop there rough me peeps so please safe travel pan the gravel yeah man so we are going to kick it off this evening over there in the western parish of Hanover, a place known as Green Island, where we have seen a series of knockings and clappings and uptick of crime and violence in that particular area. Couple people well end up get dirt, lose them three pints, no longer among the land of the living. So one of the most recent knockings and clappings was a double murder. Yeah man, may I tell you, where two construction workers from the parish of Clarendon working in Hanover end up lose them three pints in the wee hours of Wednesday morning. The both men have since been identified by the police. I've only placed one picture when I brought that news to you. Now I have the picture for the other man. <laughs> yeah, man. So both men have since been identified as this man, Romain Austin, presently on your screen. The next man has since been identified as Romario Drummond. Now it is said that both men travelled from Clarendon and got take up residence in Hanover doing some construction work. But it is said that the morning of their demise, one of the men had a heated argument with criminal elements from the area that gave them a white circle and named them food and broke the plate. It is said uh, why they were taken out. It's because monies were owed to one of the parties and some type of bad man threats were being issued to the persons who owes the money. So the persons who got the bad man threats from the Clarendonians basically never take too kind to what they were saying and basically send out a hit for them them food and broke the plate. <laughs> yeah man, may I tell you, out of John shop there, I deal with the thing grimy. And also in the same place, the same Green Island in Hanover, just a few hours after for them knockings and clappings, another man end up get dirt. The deceased man has since been identified as 26-year-old O'Shane Williams. It is said that sometime about 9 p.m., residents heard a portion of knockings and clappings and summoned the assistance of the officers in the area. Upon the arrival of the officers the following morning about 7 a.m., the now deceased was discovered on his veranda suffering from what appears to be some serious can of can of wounds to his hand, back and face. The man them deal with the thing, grimy, close casket type of business for the youth. Yeah man, over Hanover they saw a deal with the thing, a certain type of way. Now I also made mention of a man who end up get dirt over there in Bogue, Montego Bay. Now the man in question 
has since been identified as this man presently on your screen, O'Neill Jones, but popularly known as Mitchie. Now, this brother here end up lose theme tree pints all the way in a bog, Montego Bay, but he's from the Garden Parish of St. Anne. So, I'm going to play a file footage of what really took place and then give you know, a synopsis of what really go on. Listen. Shooting at Go Village as we speak. Ten rounds fired. To the left side of the car. No driver, no passenger at the moment on the scene. Opening entrance to Boat Village. Yeah. Ten rounds fired, nobody in the vehicle. So, as the person upon the ground where Mekunua Wagwan said, ten rounds fire, nobody seen in the vehicle. It's simple because the deceased man who have said earlier identified as O'Neill Jones, otherwise known as Michi, got hit and ran from the vehicle and collapsed later on in a nearby yard. Now, O'Neill Jones is from the Paritown era of St. Anne, and he was taken out in a hail of bullets Wednesday night by criminal elements. Reports from the Freeport Police suggest that sometime about 9 p.m., Residents of the Bogue housing scheme alerted the police to hearing a portion of Takan a beating at the area and saw a man running from a white 2016 Toyota Fila motor car which was parked along the roadway. On examination, the police found multiple bullet holes all over the vehicle. In a subsequent search of the area, that led to the discovery of the body of the man in a yard with multiple gunshot wounds all over his upper region of the body. He was taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital. We well, no don't know the end result of that. Yeah, man. So in the streets, my peeps, definitely a move grimy. So still in Montego Bay, another knockings and clappings took place yesterday in the vicinity of the Charles Garden Market in a Chinese wholesale. Now I'm going to play for you a small clipping of what took place and you'll see exactly how it all went down. Poor me, I tell you my peeps. The man who ended up losing three pints has been identified as the security guard for that business establishment. His name has not yet been ascertained. Watch. So as you all can see on your screen, my peeps, the man in a the blue hoodie shirt walk down, pop off him chaps, step to the security where in a the corner. Seems as if the security was definitely not on his A game, was not alert at all. They had a two man them spot the rake and take with himself, curl up the security in a the corner, lifeless, no longer among the land of the living. Right now in Jamaica, every work a serious work. The regular security upon the street and arm. Your life is in imminent danger once you're on the job. So you have to be alert 24-7. You can't end up on TikTok and have fun whilst you're on the job. Yeah, man. Come on, taxi, man. Right now, where taxi work never so serious. But now, taxi business a serious business. So once you're on the job in any capacity, once you have to deal with the regular members of Chan Public, be on the alert right through your entire work time. You can't afford to drop your guard because they all dirty kind of boy them always out there alerts. And still, in the parish of St. James. Yeah, man, the police them put on another decent spot of work as an illegal firearm was seized along the Sun Valley Road in St. James. The firearm seized is a Ruger 9mm pistol along with four live 9mm rounds. So kudos to the police for take off that chops from half of the streets. Yeah, man. Now over there in the breadbasket parish, the parish 
known as Saint Elizabeth, affectionately called Saint Bess by many, but in recent times, definitely on the spot news media have dubbed Saint Bess Saint Worse. But the police in Saint Elizabeth have ramped up their efforts in the fight against crime and violence to take it to the criminal elements who have seemingly taken over their once quiet parish. Now the St. Elizabeth police yesterday took seven men into custody on a number of charges. The men were arrested following targeted operations in the Oxford community in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Drugs, ammunition, motorcycles were seized in that operation. Reports from the police are that between 4 a.m. and 9 a.m. on Tuesday, a team from the St. Elizabeth Police and the Era Tree headquarters, supported by members of the Jamaica Defence Force, carried out a cordon and search operations in the Oxford era. The police were in search of wanted men, prohibited weapons, dangerous drugs, stolen items, and lottery scamming devices and paraphernalia. During that operation, a number of homes were specifically targeted by the team. The first house searched. Two live 9mm rounds of ammunition were found. Four men who occupied that house at the time of the search were arrested for same. A search of a second house turned up gaming machines which the occupier of that premises could not give a proper account for. The gaming items were seized and the man arrested. During the security team's search of a third premises, two fishing guns, one cash machine was seized and one man was also arrested. At the fourth premises, searched by the police, approximately 120 pounds of vegetable matter resembling that of ganja was found in an abandoned building. No one was arrested in connection with that find. Three motorcycles were also seized during the operations for breaches of the Road Traffic Act and one man taken into custody. The police are urging members of Chan Public to continue to partner with the police as they work relentlessly to disrupt gang activities and rid the parish of criminality. Yeah man, so the police them in a sent best definitely a try to ramp up their operational tactics trying to win back sent worse into sent best. Yeah man, me I tell you. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah man.